In this video, I want to talk about one of my favorite robots, Echovax DBot Osmo 950. Hi, this is David of tech for baba a channel I share my experiences on how technology can enhance my time with my kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, I will talk about how I ended up with the Osmo 950, its features and functions, and at the end, we will see if robotic AI technology today is finally good enough to take over vacuuming for me. We have wanted robots to help us perform mundane tasks for years. Vacuuming is certainly one of those tasks, especially when you have many kids or pets in the house like us. Wouldn't it be great to have a robot that automatically vacuums to keep our floors clean every day? iRobot Roomba, by far, has been the most well-known robotic vacuum cleaner. Hard to believe it was 2002, 18 years ago, that iRobots introduced its first Roomba. After all these years, is the robotic vacuum cleaner finally ready for prime time? Let's find out. My first Roomba many years ago had only limited sensors. It just vacuumed in a random pattern long enough hoping to cover the entire room. It didn't have much suction power nor battery life. Over the years, robotic vacuums had improved greatly in suction power, sensors, filtration system, and battery life. Still, the robot vacuum cleaned a room or two at a time with boundaries set manually by stationary sensors. Only about five years ago, with the Roomba 900 series, a camera was added to the top of the vacuum to enable mapping and cleaning of multiple rooms on an entire level of a home. As I look into upgrading to the latest and greatest in robotic vacuuming technology, I ran into a slew of vacuums that utilize a laser or LiDAR instead of a camera to better see and map its environments. Not only is this technology more precise than the camera, it allows the vacuum to be used at night or in a very dark room. Out of the LiDAR vacuums, I picked up the Echovax DBot Osmo 950 because it has the most suction power at the time. In the package, the DBot Osmo 950 comes with a docking charging station that's not too tall, which is great, extra side brushes and filters. There's a direct suction housing for flat surfaces only without the main brush. On the bottom, there's a water reservoir with a playful cleaning cloth. It comes with both a reusable microfiber cloth and five disposable ones. Yes, not only can the Osmo 950 vacuum, it could also mop hardwood floors or tile floors at the same time. In addition to the main roller brush in the middle, Osmo 950 comes with two side brushes. Many robot vacuums only have one side brush. Having two, one on each side, helps the 950 pick up debris from room corners and edges much better. While we're looking at the bottom, you can see the two main wheels and the main roller housing can rise and fall, adjusting to the floor material and height for the best cleaning efficiency. The Osmo 950 is smart enough to tell the difference between a flat floor and a rug and tunes its suction power accordingly. When I run the vacuum, I could hear it revs up its suction when it moves from a hardwood floor to an area rug or carpet. The stronger suction power helps to pull up and grab the dirt and debris inside the carpet Diba Osmo 950 suction power is very strong at 24 cubic feet per minute on the high setting, which not only betters most robotic vacuums, but also rivals upright vacuums. Flipping it over, there's the LiDAR and a simple start button on the top. When you start the vacuum, the LiDAR turns on and starts spinning to determine its current location. It also uses the LiDAR for map creation and navigation. Underneath the cover, there is a 430 milliliter dustbin with filters. It's easy to remove and open to dump out the debris. A cleaning tool is also attached here. It's great to have a place for the tool so I can find it when I want to clean out the main brush roller. To the right, there's an on off switch and a tiny reset button. There's a QR code to easily link up this particular vacuum to the Echovax phone app. Osmo 950 creates a map of the floor plan on its first clean run. If there are multiple floors, Osmo 950 can store maps for up to three levels. 
Once the map is created, I can use the app on the phone to have the vacuum clean the entire floor or pick areas I want the vacuum to go to and clean. Osmo 950 cleans the boundary of an area first, then go in an S pattern inside the boundary to efficiently cover the entire area. On the app, you can also draw keepout zones or virtual boundaries to keep Osmo 950 out of places where a robot vacuum can get in trouble. Tango up with wires, trap inside chair legs, or sank into extra long rugs. I remember those earlier days when I had to spend so much time cleaning my room before I can send the vacuum to clean. Many times I end up just vacuuming myself because it was much faster that way. With Osmo 950's ability to navigate to the store map and avoid keep out zones, nowadays I just need to spend a few minutes making sure loose small items are picked up and the room doors are held open before the Osmo 950 start vacuuming. Wouldn't it be nice if the robot vacuum can do all the prep work needed before the vacuuming as well? I'm sure we'll be there someday. Osmo 950 has a long lasting 200 minute battery life. If the battery runs out before the Osmo 950 finishes the cleaning cycle, it returns to the docking station by itself and resumes cleaning after it's fully charged. In the rare case Osmo 950 runs into trouble and stops, I get an alert on my phone by the app. I just fix the issue and hit resume. Osmo 950 will try to orient itself and continue on. Osmo 950 can also talk to me reporting here. its current status. This can be startling when the kids aren't expecting it. So I usually turn it down. Not only can it talk to me, I can also talk to it using Alexa or Google voice commands. Hmm, it's starting to sound like a futuristic AI movie. We have not used the mopping function as much since our floor is mostly carpet. It's easy to use. Just add water to the water reservoir and attach the mopping pad with cleaning cloth. Osmo 950 can differentiate between flat surfaces and carpet. It sprays water and mops as it goes over the hardwood and tile floors. I can adjust the water levels in the app. Since the cleaning cloth is relatively small, it gets wet quickly and no longer soaks up much water. Osmo 950 doesn't take out big stains or spills too well. However, it's very convenient to have the Osmo 950 just mop as it vacuums to maintain a clean floor. My family has enjoyed having the Osmo 950 around tremendously, much more than any other vacuum before it for sure. My big kids love it because their weekly vacuum chores goes away. Little ones love running away or chasing after the vacuum as it glides throughout the house. And interestingly, my wife loves staring at the app following Osmo 950's every move. She says it's very relaxing and rewarding knowing her floors are being cleaned automatically. She thinks this is the best tech I have brought home last year. Now that's big, considering how much tech I bring home. I'm not sure about it being the best tech, but Osmo 950 is certainly the most helpful tech I brought home. At the current $700 US dollar street price, Osmo 950 is a relatively expensive robot vacuum. However, I think it's the best all around robot vacuum available today, even compared to other more expensive offerings. It has both strong suction power and a capable navigation mapping system to clean my floor efficiently and almost automatically. Can it get even better? Of course, I see EchoVax and others adding a front facing camera and more AI to augment the LiDAR navigation system. A bigger dustbin, or even better, an automated and economical way to clear the dustbin would be great. It's not so loud that you hear it all over the house, but it could always be quieter. I can't wait for all the exciting new tech to make their way into a fully automated AI robotic vacuum in the years to come. For now, while it still requires some of our old-fashioned human intelligence and labor to prep the area and to clean up afterwards, Osmo 950 has already successfully taken over most of our floor cleaning tasks at home. If you have not looked into a robot vacuum lately, I highly recommend this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. Leave a comment and tell me if you've also found a good robot to take over your cleaning chores at home. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our time with kids and family, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.